Pop Spotlight, brought to you by Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. Hey everyone, I'm Adam Harry from Bell Lost Souls Tabletop News with Evan from Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. We're back with another Tabletop Spotlight. Evan. I hear this guy's pretty nasty. This guy is Mortarian. Yes. I'm so excited. Uh, it's a beautiful he's model. Out. Yeah. He's out now. Yeah. So, uh, we here at Bulls, uh, at the studio here, we've actually been playing with them all week yeah. long uh, on our Twitch channel. Fantastic paint job. Uh, Twitch TV slash Bulls. Yes. Uh, Bell Lost Souls. Uh, it's an awesome, he's an awesome, awesome kit. We're going to go through what he actually looks like on the sprue. Yeah. Um, but he is a beast. On the tabletop. I mean, yeah. he ought to be. He's a demon Primarch, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, Primarch of the Death Guard turns into a demon Prince. nothing less from him. He's amazing. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, our studio uh, painter did an awesome job. Uh, he's been wrecking shop all week, um, and we're probably going to see even more of Mortarian. Um, he's definitely up there with Magnus. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Like, That's a high all, bar. All those Primarchs, I feel like, all do a, a really good job of kicking butt. Yeah. Um, but we're here to focus on the model. Yes. I'm gonna put him down. He's cool. Uh, we're here to focus on that. And you got something else. What else you bring? Oh, I brought the dice. The new uh, Death Guard dice. Yeah. They're pretty uh, disgusting looking. They are. Um, they have little boils out of them. They have like they have like a plastic cover. Yeah, we'll show you in the, the close yeah. up. But there's like a plastic cover and like a 3D boil coming out. Yeah, from the yeah. Numbers. It's it's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm very curious about these dice. Yeah. Just because like I'm I'm actually curious to see if they're balanced. Yeah. I, mean, <laughs> I know a lot of folks have been asking. So. Exactly. Yeah. Well, uh, we'll could stall in here. Let's take a look inside Mortarian's box. All right, Evan, are you ready to dive in here, man? Yes. More Terry. Uh, you want to do the dice real quick? Yes. Just to get them out? Uh, okay. We moved the sticker so we can open it. Yeah. Uh, that's why it's up to down. But we want to show these off. These are really cool. If I can open them. There we there go. go. Uh, so <laughs> they've got like these boils. Look at that. Yeah. It's 3D. Let me just. It looks like they have like a plastic cover over like a. Uh, oh, and it's soft on the inside. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. I was not expecting that. Um, so what I've been told is they should be balanced. They'll just bounce a bit more than uh, dice usually will. They feel different to roll. Yeah. Like, They're very light, actually. Yeah, they feel yeah. really light. They, because, uh, like Evan said, that those boils are like rubber. Yeah. So you, you can see them kind of bouncing a little bit in there. Um, but they should be balanced. Yeah, they should be. Um, yes. They're rolling, they're rolling all right for me. I don't know. I was also worried that it'd be hard to tell what the number is, but no, it's, not really. It's, it's like easy. five, three, you know, six, yeah. six. It's pretty easy. Yeah. Yeah. You can, you can pretty much tell. Yeah, yeah. I like them. They're, they're pretty neat. They're I guess pretty there's yeah. like twenty in there, I think. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's the dice. Plus, just want to point out real quick, you get like the funny looking uh, like frosting, like frosting. Yeah, which makes gross. it look like, yeah, disgusting. Looks like somebody sneezed in so, there. So yeah. Okay, those are the dice. Okay. Now, now for the, the part. The piece of the resistance. Yes. I would. Man, these are pretty cool. Get these dice. I'm gonna just put them over here. Right on. All right, here we go. Mortarian box. Real all right. Quick. Back of the box. Yes. Mortarian in all his glory. Uh, silence. You got the lantern. Uh, you've got his little uh, Nurgle sensors, which are fun. The yeah. little Nurglings carrying. I like this one the best. <laughs> this little guy here is my favorite. Look around. Um, he's Why got the little he get plate wings? stuff coming. You know, he's he's, he's mini Mortarian. He's, he's working out the chain. Yeah. yeah. He, he get, he'll get his wings. Right, right. Um, okay. All right. Here we go. I feel like you should have opened this. Yeah. Um, you, you take because if, it, if I tear it, then I've got to buy it. And yeah, I don't... that's why I want you to open it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. All right, so this is one of those boxes in a box type thing. Yeah. So it's purple. It's interesting the inside. Yeah. Did I get? All right, here you go. There you go. Hey. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, that's pretty fancy. More cherry. All right. So you get the slipcase cover thing. Yeah. Oh, another box. Another box in a box. What's in the box? More cherry. What's in the box? box? All right, so that's everything. In... All right. Okay. Here we go. All right, we've got the instructions. Full color. Oh yeah, paint guide. Very helpful. All the paints will be. Yeah. Uh, rules for Mortarian. Different languages. Uh, we, we're not gonna go through this because I mean it's the instructions. It's yeah. Full color. We've seen these but before. But it's it's like the new ones, you know, that have the the optional you know pieces, but also the yellow parts where you can glue on. Exactly. Like that, so. It shows you exactly how to build it. And you can. I want to mention there are two. I believe there's two different poses for Mortarian's gun arms. Yes. Uh, up up or down depending on on how you want to do that. So. Um, there's some options there. Yeah. So, matter of fact, that was it right there. Let me just flip back. Uh, whoops. Nice uh, nice no, last one. There you go. Yeah, you can you can do either or. Yeah. You see there. So. Either holding it up. Either the or keeping it down. Yeah. yeah. So, up to you. Very cool. 
All right. All right. Uh, <laughs> wow. Let's just do it one at a time. Wow. Here's the one with the wings. Yeah. Pretty so important. I didn't get to unbox it when we got them for the studio. So mm. I'm pretty excited this about this. It's new for everyone. Yeah. Uh, let me get this out of the way. So yeah. this is, it's a two sprue kit. Right. Look at that. Big sprues though. Big sprues. The wings Lots are pretty sweet. That thing is huge, man. I think it's as big as your hand. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. I have small hands though, no, so don't. I can't really. No, you have bigger hands. <laughs> uh, anyway, <laughs> you can see all the chainmail detail there too. Wow. Yeah. This is intense. Look at his legs. Oh man, pretty I'm beefy. Grab, uh, I'm gonna grab a model real quick. Um, here we go. <laughs> uh, this is maybe not the best example uh, for all you Eldar players out there. I'm sorry, but this is this is the avatar, and this that's Mortarian's leg. Yeah. Uh, I think, I think he's been working out. And we do have a full Mortarian to show off. Yes. Yeah, we'll grab him too. Um, just again. Let me show the back side of the sprue off, then we'll show the Mortarian off, and then we'll show the other sprue off, all right? So, here's the other side of the sprue. There's the gun. Mm -hmm. oh, I love that thing, look at it. It's got the little... I think the gun's my favorite part, the lantern. Yeah. It's, it's just like, it's cool gun sling, slinging gun, you know? It's got like the different triangles going yeah. on. Uh, uh, reminds me of uh, Cade 6 from Destiny 2. Oh, Destiny the, yeah, 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 okay. He's got the, he's got the Ace of Spades. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, it's just me, I don't know what other people are thinking, but that's me. I've been playing a lot. But anyway, uh, <laughs> I like the base material too. I love that the, they have these giant rocks in there. But it's like has ooze on it. You can see it yeah. between the cracks. It helps like anchor the model, but also yeah. gives it good contact points. Mm -hmm. um, Add some weight to the base. Yes. Which with a model like this, you kind of want a weighted want, base. Yeah. Right. You want some heft on the base, um, which you can see when we show our model off. Our our uh, our modeler added some extra rocks just to do that. But you don't have to. You can totally do it. But look at that. Look at this. Is that the shoulder blade or the knee pad? Um, it looks like a shoulder blade, yeah. Yeah, it looks like a shoulder, because like, oh man. Yeah. <laughs> this is such a cool kit. Uh, I can't wait to get my Primark for my Tyranids. Oh. <laughs> is, that, is that how that works? Do I get one too? <laughs> All right, uh, let's show off the yeah. model real close. Uh, again, this is a completed model um, that we had here at the studio. Evan just really loves it. I oh, it's tell. pretty, the paint job. Oh yeah. You've had one yeah. of your painters, ma you know, paint it. Right. I'm gonna let you handle it, yeah. Here you go. So you can see when we assembled it, um, we did it with the uh, lantern in the right hand, silence in the left. Yeah. Uh, the base, there's the two big bases, and then we actually, he actually added extra rocks again, just, just for the extra heft. Yeah. Um, here's the back completed, and you can see how massive those wings That's are. Right. Yeah, I want to show off that coloring on the wings too. Yeah, he did a really good job. It's like bacon before it's cooked. It's mm, disgusting. Gross. <laughs> and again, Mortarian. <laughs> He's a big dude. <laughs> it's. This is the Avatar who, you know, it's an older model, I get it, but man, there is there is a size difference. Yeah. Um, okay, so awesome, awesome we painted. Let's look at the other sprue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And again, Mortarian is on a giant base. I think this is a 100 mil, 100 millimeter. You'd be the expert. I'm not exact, I think it's a 100 millimeter. Is it on the back? Double check that one. While I set this up, boom. Does that say? I, I'll double check. Through. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's on the GW website, the exact size, but it's a big base. It's not as quite, it's no Grand Marshal of the Apocalypse Ar Archeon. Sure. No, no, no. You know, frisbee size, but it's... <laughs> frisbee size. You can actually play frisbee with it. Yeah. Uh, here's the other sprue. We'll <laughs> keep focused here. Uh, there's the crazy silence man reaper. Yeah. Um, holy crap, man. It's got like a blade and then like a chain at the very end. <laughs> it's, it's so got cool. Some bones on the top. I, uh, my, my guys have been on the receiving end of silence and it hurts. <laughs> it hurts. I loved all the little sensors and the little chains. You'll see, I think there's at least like 10, maybe 15 uh, sensors all over this model. Yeah. Um, I love the little cherub uh, nurglings carrying them as well, which is a really nice touch. Um, it's just a cool, cool kit. Man, I'm just in awe. Yeah, okay. it's very cool. Again, the amount of detail GW is cramming on the bits is, is really impressive. Um, the the bits themselves hard plastic so they get they hold the detail really well and they've added so many little things we didn't even talk about it on the other on the other sprue but it it's quite pretty evident here things like the the blade the plates there's, yeah. a, there's actually surprising a lot of a flat space but they've used that flat space to add pock marks and scratches yeah and battle damage i mean these are the death guard divots. you know they're just yeah. diseased and you have to show that yeah they don't clean themselves you know so <laughs> 
Well, why would they? That yeah. grime is, you know, Nurgle blessing. Yeah, so. Exactly. But it's such a cool kit. Um, again, just phenomenally well done. You got to get one if you're if you're a Death Guard player. Oh yeah, it's, I feel like this is must. the centerpiece. This is the one you've been waiting on. Yeah. Uh, it's pricey, but you know what? Uh, it's awesome in game. It's an awesome. Yeah, it's model definitely worth it in game, and it's just a beautiful oh, model. Yeah, beautiful yeah. model, beautiful model. All right, enough gushing on Mortarian. I'm sure that's gross. So uh, <laughs> let's hop out for a really quick recap. Well, that was Mortarian, Demon Prince, Demon Primark. Yes. Demon Awesome of the Death Guard. He's pretty sweet. Yeah. What do you think yeah. of the kit, man? I mean, overall, it's really. I love the design of the gun. I, yeah. That's a weird thing with the specifier, but it's 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 like a gunslinger. It's, yeah, it's like revolver. the. It's, I like it because it's got the the like the triangle spade things. Yeah. Opposite direction. It just it reminds it's, you of like an old west. Yeah, exactly. It's like gunslinger. a gunslinger gun. It's, like it's Maverick, awesome. You know, with the cards. Uh, the yeah. silence, silence the scythe. It's yeah. pretty sweet as well. Oh. Uh, man, it's just a great. Pretty yeah, I, it's yeah, it's fantastic kit. Yeah. Um, Mortarian's awesome on the tabletop. Makes me um, want to play Death Guard. Yeah, I can't do it because I can't get another army. But I want to play Death. <laughs> well, you Guard. can get another. Oh, just don't don't you do this. <laughs> and uh, again, those dice as we saw, they're fun. Yeah, I like them. A uh, nice touch again yeah. with the 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 three D boils and stuff coming off. Pretty sweet. Um, yeah, they definitely bounce. They definitely yeah, bounce. they bounce a little more. Yeah, I would say, which is dice. cool. But yeah, um, let's crunch the numbers on this stuff real fast. Mortarian, yes. obviously Warhammer 40k, Games Workshop. Yes. What's the price point on this one? $140 for Mortarian. Um, um, nice. And I think they were $15. Death Guard, $15 bucks ish. Um, but yeah, I also want to note too, we, we pointed this out, but like the case, again, with that weird kind of uh, tent inside to make it look all pusty. Yeah. Was, I just I thought these dice were really nice. Touch. They really went for that theme, and they yeah. did a great job. With did it, a great so. job. So yeah. both these products, brand new in stores. Yes, you can pick them up right now. Go pick them up. I'm Adam here from Bulls. I'm Evan from Dragons that are coming to fancy. And this has been another Tabletop Spotlight. Thanks for watching. Tabletop Spotlight brought to you by Dragons Lair Comics and Fantasy. Thanks for watching.